Chapter 2 Branding, Positioning, and the INC Plan. Chapter Overview The importance of a strong brand, an examination of different types of brands, how brands can use different positioning strategies, brand value, and the importance of brand equity on marketing communications, examining the elements of an INC plan. Chapter Objectives Why is a strong brand vital and important to the success of many firms? What are family brands, brand extensions, plunker brands, co-brands, private brands, brand equity, and brand recognition? How can brands use different positioning strategies to succeed? What are contact points with customers that impact brand equity? How can marketing communications impact brand equity and vice versa? What are the elements included in an integrated marketing communications plan? Discussion points. How important are brand names? How important are brand names for clothes? Why? What additional product categories are brand names important? What product categories are brand names not important? What? What is branding? Branding is assigning a name, phrase, design, symbols, or a combination of these to a product, service, or a group of complementary products. Brand identity summarizes what the company stands for and the position the company has established. Brand equity, certain assets that add to the value assigned to the product. Brand value, customer perspective, provides quality assurance in purchase decisions. Reduces search time in purchase decisions provides psychological reinforcement and social acceptance of purchases. Measuring brand equity. Measuring brand equity can be difficult. Brand metrics measure return and branding investments. Brand metrics measure attitudinal measures, awareness, recall, recognition. Brand value, company perspective. A strong brand can generate many benefits, including positive customer phones to new products and services, allows a company to charge more if the brand is recognized and respected, customer loyalty, which may lead to more purchases, positive word of mouth endorsements, higher level of channel power, the ability to attract quality employees more favorable ratings by financial observers and analysts. Developing brand value. From introduction to post-purchase behavior, five dimensions. Brand awareness, association customers make with brands, attitude customers have about the brand performance, brand attachment by the customer, brand activity. How do customers use the brand? Types of brands Family brands Brand extension Flunker brand Co-branding Ingredient branding Cooperative branding Complementary branding Private brands Family brands Multiple products under one brand. Transfer associations. Brand extension. New good or service. Flunker brand. New brand within current category. Flunker brand sold with Procter & Gamble. Cosmetics. CoverGirl. Max Factor. Dishwashing. Cascade. Dawn. Ivory. Joy. Hair care. Aussie, Head and Shoulders, Herbal Essences, Infusion 23, Pantene. 
forms of co-branding. Co-branding, ingredient branding, cooperative branding, complementary branding. Changes in private brands. Quality improvement. Lower prices. Higher store loyalty. Lower loyalty for manufactured brands. Increasing advertising of private brands. Increasing quality of private brand in store displays. The strategies used to combat private labels. Focus on core brands. Increase advertising. Introduce new products. Focus on in store selling packaging. Use alternative methods of marketing. Categories of corporate names. Overt names. Reveals what the company does. Implied names. Contains recognizable words or words that convey what a company does. Conceptual names. Capture the essence of what a company offers. Iconoclastic name. Iconoclastic. Iconoclastic name. To present something unique, different, and memorable. Positioning is the process of creating a perception in the consumer's mind regarding the nature of the company and its products relative to competitors. Mm -hmm. The product's position is based on two elements. The product's standing relative to the competition and how the product is perceived by consumers. Positioning strategies. Attributes, competitor, use or application, price, quality, relationship, product user, product class, cultural symbol. Factors in brand management. Maintaining a brand's image. Consistency is key. Rejuvenating a brand may be necessary if a firm has encountered negative publicity. Repositioning a brand may be necessary when a brand's target market, market has shrunk or firm can no longer meet customer expectations. Components of a brand A brand has both tangible and intangible elements. Often intangible Elements such as associated services may be key in building customer loyalty toward a brand. A pleasant shopping environment may have a significant impact on a consumer's assessment of a brand. Other invisible or intangible elements may include how and where products are made. Marketing communications and brand equity. Marketing communications is a key factor in the development of a strong brand. Brand equity exists because of the perceptions, feelings, and attitudes that customers have toward the brand. Objective is to have resonance between a brand and a customer, which can lead to a close relationship. Marketing communications must strive to create brand salience for the customer. Salience for the customer. Salience for the customer. Marketing communications and brand equity. Brand meaning is built on brand salience. Brand meaning consists of both performance-related attributes related to functional needs and in cases the social or psychological needs of the customer. Brand response responses can be divided into two categories. Judgments customers make regarding the attributes of the product or service Consumers' feelings toward the brand. The IMC plan. Marketing communications is grounded in the overall marketing plan of the firm. The IMC plan must work toward the same overall objectives as the other elements of the marketing plan. Marketing objectives are set on specific metrics. A marketing plan has multiple sections and processes. Marketing plan usually includes the following components situation analysis, competitive analysis, customer research, marketing objectives. The above components are building blocks for IMC plan. D 
the IMC component of the marketing plan will include crucial elements such as IMC objectives, target audiences, budget, communication tools to be used based on goals and budget considerations, methods to evaluate and control implemented plan. International implications. Adaptation versus standardization. The standardization reduces costs. Shrinking world is standardization. High profile, high involvement. Global brand, low involvement products, local brand. Packaging and labeling issues can be complex. Image and positioning issues.